welcome everyone in this video we will discuss one important topic sometimes the assignments of outputs we have to do very carefully otherwise our software or our logics may not work properly one of the example is double assignments of outputs the programs are executed sequentially from top to bottom see on the right side we have one simple logic in the first line or in the first rung we have input x0 and output y0 and in the second rung we have input x2 and output again same output y0 if this logic is executed in a plc what will happen according to the status of x0 the output y0 will be updated when plc executes the second rung according to the status of x2 again the output y0 will be updated the both inputs x0 and x2 may or may not have same status accordingly the y0 will be updated this leads to the problems because the y0 will not be updated correctly either it updates according to x0 or x2 in some plc's the last instruction have some priority in those cases the last instruction will be executed instead of the first instruction so we have to avoid double assignments of outputs okay so how to solve this we already discussed in one of the video where we can use the branch instruction so to avoid this problem we can use the branch instruction where we use the branch instruction in the r logic so what is the correct way of doing this this is the correct way the both inputs x0 and x2 are in branch or in parallel and the output is connected see the output is used only one time in this case the problem will not happen the output y0 will be updated accordingly as per the input status x0 and x2 this is very important topic we can simulate this logic in our software we need two different inputs and one common output so go to our software software in run mode so editing is not possible we have to make it to program mode click edit ladder now the plc is in program mode first case we will discuss with two different inputs and one same output for each input so take x24 selector switch and take output y0 again take another input x25 again assign same output y0 click ok the background color is in gray color that means it needs to be compiled click convert now click write to plc for downloading this logic now it is completed now i will switch on the input x24 what happens my output y0 is in off state but input x24 is on state as discussed previously the output y0 must be turned on why it is not turning on because we used double assignments of same output with different inputs and different input statuses in this software the last rung has the high priority here we have rung 0 and rung 2 what is the last rung rung 2 is the last rung if you see from top to bottom so as rung 2 has the high priority the input status of rung 2 is considered and output is updated accordingly so if we use the same logic in real time with this type of plc what happens your output y0 will only respond to input x25 the output y0 will not respond to input x24 that means part of your logic is not going to work it leads to problems the machine may not work properly as designed in this software the last rung has the priority in some other softwares maybe the first rung has the priority in some other softwares maybe there may there will be different type of priority or there may be different type of error will be generated the error our priority may not be the same for each plc software it will be different please note that if my input x25 is on the output is on see x25 on output on y0 is on the lamp is turned on because it is considering the the last rung which has the priority 
if my input x24 is off there is no change in output y0 because the x25 input has the priority if input x25 is off output is off let's interchange the x24 and x25 click edit ladder for editing purpose double click on x24 change it to x25 double click on x25 change it to x24 click ok convert it then write to plc click ok see again x25 is on there is no change in y0 because the priority is not given to the input switches inputs or outputs it doesn't matter in this software the priority is given to the last rung by default if input x24 is on output is on if input x24 is off output is off see the priority is accordingly to the rung the last rung so avoid this type of programming in the ladder logic this leads to many errors in this case the output y0 is not going to respond to the input x25 so how to solve this as we discussed we have to go for branches or parallel connections click edit ladder so delete the second line select and right click select delete line select second line you can click open branch option i need an envo so i'll leave it like that i'm going to use x24 enter x24 click ok so program is ready convert and download input x24 is on output y0 is on if input only x25 is on output y0 is on if both inputs are on output is on if both inputs are off output is off see my output is updating according to the inputs so avoid using of same output in different runs with different inputs as per our logic it's not going to work so this is one of the important rule we have to remember when we're doing our ladder logic programming i'll meet you in the next session